Hi, I'm Garrett from GLG Fishing. Sorry we haven't been posting lately. Uh, it's been winter time down here and we've been getting a lot of snow. We went fishing the other day. We caught a, a couple small fish, but nothing to really put on camera. So, but today I'm going to talk about spinner baits and kind of and like stuff like that. Show you kind of what they are a little bit. This is a uh, willow leaf spinner bait. Um, we're going to talk about the safety pin kind today. This is called a willow leaf. This one is called a Colorado. Colorado blade. Kind of looks like a circle. And I have an Indiana blade, but I can't seem to find it. I have a couple of them, but I can't find them right now. But, uh, spinnerbait is a very, like, a versatile bait. You can throw it in the dead of winter, in the heat of the summer. Or really, it's a 365 day a year kind of bait. You can throw it anytime. And it works good all the time. Uh, my favorite color in it is white. Like this one. And, uh, you can dip it in JJ's or something like that. You kind of change it up a little bit. But, uh, you can use trailers, trailer hooks. There's a lot of different stuff you can use with the spinnerbait. Uh, you want to fish like a willow leaf kind and when the water's clear and there's a lot of bait fish in the air, like you know, in the bass are schooling for bait fish, that's when you want to, that's when you want to use a willow leaf because the light, the sun shines off of the blade and it looks a lot like a bait fish. You want to use this type, the Colorado, when the water is real murky and you can't see hardly nothing because it vibrates a lot and uh, really got a lot of vibration in it. So then you can, the fish can like lock in on it so they can find it a lot easier and you can catch a, a lot of fish on it in murky water. But if it was real nice and clear, this really wouldn't be one you want to throw. You'd rather throw, you want to throw that one because it just is a lot better. Lot, in my opinion, this is a lot better one than, than that blade. This blade is a lot better than this one. But these are spinner baits. A lot of people don't like them because they bend and go every different direction when you get a fish on or after you use them for a while. But a lot of people think that it's, that it's the uh, little bar up here. And, and sometimes it is. But sometimes what people don't know if you're using a trailer, if that trailer's not on there straight, that spinner bait is going to go any direction in the water. It could go like that. I mean, you don't even, like you... You, a lot of people think that it's that it's that, but it's really not. It's your trailer. Your trailer has to be straight on that hook right here, or it's going to be all over the place. But sometimes this bar is not exactly even with that hook, and that can throw it off too. So you just got to play around with it because you never know what it could be. But m more times than any, it's this. But on occasion, your, if your trailer's not straight, it'll go any direction. Well, that's what I have to say about spinner baits. I mean, there's I can go on and on about it all day, but I've hit most of the main things on the spinner bait. Uh, a lot of people think that uh, you have to use a trailer hook all the time, but you don't. Um, when a bass comes up and short strikes it like this, like you got a trailer hook hanging off the back, and your bass comes up and short strikes it and doesn't get it, people think that it's that, but you don't really need one. All you have to do is change the color. Dip it in JJ's or change the color of your blade real fast and you can get your bass. Because most of the time that's what it is. Not because he's short striking it. Well, check GLG Fishing out on Facebook. Leave questions, comments about lures and spinner baits or whatever you want to leave a comment about. Just check us out on Facebook. It's called GLG Fishing.